Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So uh, work out this area. Work out this area from 0 to infinity. From 0 to infinity. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so uh, so to do this, um, we're, we're going to break this up. So rather than doing it from 0 to infinity, rather than doing it from 0 to infinity, we're going to break it up into two, two, two different sections. We're going to integrate it from 0 to 1. Uh, you could select two, three, or four, but select something simple. One is a simple, uh, is a simple uh, intermediate point. So, so rather than doing it from from uh, zero to infinity, we're going to do it from zero to one. So we're going to do it from zero to one, and then from from one all the way to infinity. So from one all the way to infinity. But our normal routine would be to um, to do it. Our normal routine would be to do it. From an arbitrary point a, and then do and then integrate it to one. So from a integrate it to one, and then from one, and then from one, I uh, integrate it to uh, to an arbitrary point. Let's say b here. So from one to an arbitrary point. Let's say b here, and then later on we can allow a to head towards towards zero from the right hand side. We can allow, we can take the limit as a approaches zero from the from the right hand side and then and then do the same for b later on we can uh, we can allow b we can take the limit as b heads towards positive infinity so uh, so we can allow b to move all the way to the to to infinity and then here a all the way towards zero okay so so uh, so so now we are just doing it we are integrating from a to b so so yeah we are now integrating from a to 1 and then from 1 to b so now it just boils down to us trying to integrate this. So hang on. So now it really boils us. It really boils down to us trying to integrate this. And you should be able to integrate this by now. So so when you integrate this, when you integrate this, it's blah blah blah. We've done all this before. Blah blah. When you integrate it, it will give you this thing here. Okay. So back to where we were before. We uh, we were here. Remember, we're we're integrating from a to b. Uh, so when when so it boils down to us trying to integrate this. So when you integrate this, it will then give you this. Integrate this, it will then give you this. So now it's just a matter of you putting this into here. So hang on. So uh, so when you when you put this into here, that that will then give you uh, this, and then put a into here, that will then give you this. And then put B into here. That will then give you this. Put this into here. That will then give you this. Um, these two are exactly the same, so they uh, they cancel each other out, giving you giving you this. So remember, this is from A to B. Now we are going to let A head towards. We are now now let A head towards uh, towards zero from the right direction, and then allow B to head towards infinity. So, so now we we're gonna take the limit as a tends to uh, tends to zero from the right hand side. So this thing here becomes this, and then we we are now we are allowing b to head towards in infinity. So we take the limit as b heads towards positive infinity. So this thing here will then become this, and then the minute you allow a to head towards zero and b to head towards infinity, this thing really becomes this. You are now integrating from zero to infinity rather than from A to B. Okay, so so allow A to head towards zero, allow B to head towards infinity. So this this thing here will then become this. Now uh, the limit of this, the limit of this, the limit of this is two, the limit of this is one. So the answer here is two. So what what it means is that this whole area this whole area, this whole area from from zero to all the way to infinity, it has an area of two. So that's that's roughly two squares here. Okay. So so the whole area is two. Two is your final answer. Okay.